Things 3 stands alone as our Friday 5 app of the week. Here are 5 features that make this update so great. The first thing you'll notice about Things 3 is how big of a difference it is in the looks department. It is a major departure from the look and feel of Things 2, which I'm displaying right here. Things 2 is nice, but it definitely is starting to feel a little old and outdated, being that it's several years old right now. This right here, however, is Things 3, and it is a huge difference in the looks department. Wouldn't you agree? For starters, there's lots more white space, and there's a lot more color involved as well. But not just that, you're gonna notice as you peruse the app that there's a lot of differences with animations and just overall user experience. And a large part of that user experience difference starts with what developer culture code labels the magic plus button. Now, with normal to-do apps, you have a plus button there and you tap it and you can add to-dos to your various lists, right? Same thing here, you can add a new to-do, new project, or a new area. But living up to its name, the Magic Plus button has a trick up its sleeve. If you tap and drag that button, you can actually move it to the various areas around the app and perform contextual operations. So if I drag it up there, I can actually create a new project under the nine to five Mac area right at the top where I designated it. I can also drag it to the inbox to add a new inbox item right there on the fly from anywhere. And instead of having to create a whole project just to house a checklist, you can now create a checklist right inside of an individual to-do item right on the fly. It's super easy. You just tap the checklist button right here to easily add checklist items just like that. So I'm gonna add a few items, mail a letter, pick up lemons, and drop off package. Now the previous version of Things had search, but it wasn't as cool as the quick find search that you'll find in Things 3. You can actually swipe down from anywhere in the Things 3 interface to invoke quick find. So I can be anywhere. I can be within a particular project. I can be within an area, swipe down on the screen and invoke quick find just like that. And that allows me to quickly search for items within Things with little to no friction. And my fifth favorite feature within Things is efficient list editing. So I can swipe on any item like that and invoke the list editor. And this allows me to perform actions on multiple items at the same time. Let me show you how it works. So you just select all the items you wish to edit and then tap the action operation. And then you can perform your action on multiple items, just like that. Super simple. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at five of my favorite things, three features. It's more than just a new coat of paint. It really does fundamentally change the app for the better. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.